A year ago, in February 2014, Ukrainians gathered on the Maidan Square in Kiev and overthrew the government of President Yanukovych. This documentary attempts a critical look at a war of fluid borders and confused identities. A series of outsiders offer their interpretation of a conflict that is once again polarizing the world. Graduating senior in political science and history, Sven van Maurik directed a documentary on the crisis in Ukraine. Screened at AUP two weeks ago, I sat down with Sven to discuss why he chose to do this documentary. Um, well, it sort of started out as uh, a senior thesis in politics, and I didn't want to write um, yet another paper, and kind of wanted to do something different. You also went on a trip to Stoksburg to visit with one of the specialists. Could you tell us about that? It's actually quite interesting because through a uh, connection uh, I managed to get some speaking time with the representative of Ukraine to the Council of Europe, uh, Mr. Toshitsky, and of course he had some really interesting things to say about um, the crisis and the war, um, and although it was a little bit of a biased perspective, obviously it was still quite interesting to put in there. What have you learned yourself on the Ukrainian crisis? Is Russia being extremely aggressive, or...? <laughs> well, that's a big question, isn't it? Um, because the moment you talk about Ukraine, you sort of talk about Russia and Europe and the United States. Um, I guess in a nutshell, I'd say that what I've learned is that it, it really pays to invest into getting to know this crisis a little bit better. I mean, I went from sort of being pro-Russian at the beginning of this like investigation six months ago to being pretty much pro-European and, and pro-Western powers back to being pro-Russian in the last three weeks and then sort of in the final editing stages of this documentary I didn't really know which side I was for anymore which is usually frustrating of course because in the end you do need to give some kind of direction and editorial perspective um, within the documentary so um, so in the end I'd say like it's, it's just really tough and there's so many perspectives and so many stories and so much emotion as well that goes on um, that you can't really give one answer. At the same time of course it's very interesting to do this kind of research and to do get to know the different stories a bit better. Definitely. And as one last final message, for your viewers of this documentary, what do you hope they, they leave it with? I would say, um, of course, I'd, it'd be nice if, if people saw it and were um, and turned a bit curious and wanted to know a bit more about this. It's important um, to not forget about it, it be important not to forget about what happened and not to forget that there's still like a very hard way forward uh, ahead of us and, and that we do need to find some long-term solutions to this crisis. The ceasefire alone is just not going to be enough. If nothing else, this artificial war has revealed the cracks in Moscow's facade. The question remains whether in these circumstances the new government in Kiev will be able to realize its revolution. To view Sven's documentary, please click here. This is Ariel Delzer for Peacock TV.